dear Dr. English, remember I wrote you about to, in, on, and at when talking about time. No, I need help with this preposition when talking about places. Regard, Robert. Hello again, Robert. If your concern is places, then the overall rule is to use in when your subject is inside a specific location. For instance, I live in London, or she runs in the park, or Milan is in the north of Italy. The exceptions are at the desk, at the bus stop, at the door, and at the traffic lights. Moreover, you have to use at when speaking about a relative location, like top, end, or bottom. For instance, the footnote is at the bottom of the page. Watch out for expressions which do not require the article. In bed, in hospital, at school, etc. Now, you have to use on when speaking about one location over another. For instance, the stamp is on the envelope, or she lives on the first floor. You can also use on when speaking about a vehicle, except a car. On the bus, on a bicycle, on the plane, etc. Finally, you can use to when speaking about a movement, like in I went to London yesterday. Be careful with the noun home, which does not require the to preposition. I'm going home. Also, same caution with the verbs to arrive and to get. To arrive requires in before a country or a town and at before other kinds of places. She will arrive at the hotel tomorrow. And I arrived in Paris yesterday. To get always needs the preposition to before a destination even when the movement is over. He got to Miami last year. Understood? Let's try a little test. I came back home before going the airport. A. Nothing, nothing. B. Two, two. C. Nothing at. D. Nothing to. D, of course. Never use any preposition with home when a movement is involved. However, to the airport is the plain application of the rule of when to use to. See you soon.